Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Adam here, and it's that time of year again where we're all pretty much starting to get overrun with flies. But you got your flies outside, and because they're outside, whenever you open the door, ultimately some are also going to get inside. Well, one of the factors for having a bunch of flies around your house is your garbage. So what they end up doing is the flies get into your garbage, they lay their eggs in your garbage, they become maggots, and then ultimately they also become flies. And flies can multiply at a rapid rate. And the garbage is the perfect place for them to breed. So in this video I'm going to show you three ways or methods that you can use in order to keep the flies out of your garbage or if they get into your garbage once they get in there, they die off before they're able to breed and then further multiply, causing a bunch more flies around your house. If we're able to cut them off or kill them off at the breeding stage, then we're going to drastically drop the amount of flies that are in or around our house. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go. All right, so this first method I like to use is I use this product right here. This is made by Taro, and they actually call it Garbage Guard. And how this works is there is this little packet in here that then ultimately adheres inside of the trash can and it will put out a vapor that kills a whole host of bugs, especially those flies and maggots. But it's gonna stop those flies from being able to breed. If you look here on the back, it shows how it works. It tells you that it's gonna slowly release a vapor in enclosed areas for up to four months. I actually like to change this out at least every three months just to be safe. And then it also lists what all it kills. So it kills flying and crawling insects including flies, gnats, mosquitoes, moths, silverfish, cockroaches, spiders, beetles, earwigs, spider mites, and then there are some other listed insects. So it kills a whole host of different bugs that can be in your trash can. And it works as easily as this. You just open up the package, pull out this little pouch, then you just go and open up the pouch, and then inside of it is this little device here. You'll then take the double-sided tape that's included with it, and then peel off the protective barrier, stick it to one side of the garbage guard, and then peel off the other side of the tape, open up the trash can, and then just place it up here in the top. I'm just gonna hold it there for a few seconds, make sure that it sticks to the lid, and then that's all there is to it. It's gonna kill flies and pretty much everything else for up to four months. The next method or product that I like to use is this flying insect killer that's made by Hot Shot. And I probably use this one the most, not just in my trash cans, but then also around my house and also my shop because it works really, really well. Now it shows that it kills flies, but it also kills a whole host of other bugs, including these listed here, which are house flies, mosquitoes, and then it says other listed insects, which I won't bore you with how long the list is. But I've used it on pretty much every insect that I've found around the house, and it works. I've used it on cockroaches. They die right away. It especially works really well on flies, it works on wasps, and pretty much everything else. So I highly recommend getting a can of this if you don't already have it already. So it says that it kills for up to four weeks because if you do just spray this in the air, it will kill all the bugs in the air in that area. Uh, up to four weeks, I usually try to replace it before then, maybe every two to three weeks, and it's just so easy to do. So the way that I apply this, is if I open up this trash can, which I already know there's a bunch of flies and maggots in here. This is the trash can that I showed earlier. So all I do is I just spray around the perimeter of the trash can itself. And as you can see, these flies already don't like it. They're trying to fly out. I go around the perimeter of the top. And then I also spray the lid. And I do this so all those points of contact have that insecticide on them. So as the flies or whatever bug is trying to get in, it's gonna make contact with this insecticide and it's ultimately going to kill them. So we'll come back here in a number of days and see how it's doing. So really quickly, if you're finding value in this or you're at least finding it to be helpful or interesting, if you could do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button right down below. It really does help the video out to spread out to more people, kind of like flies, and hopefully be able to help them out as well. I really appreciate it. Let's get back into it. Now this last method I don't personally use, but I've seen other people use it and they say that it works really well. I just personally find the first two methods to just be easier. I only have to do it every once in a while, whereas with this, I'm gonna have to do it every single time I have a bag. But what you do is you just take your garbage bag and you take a roll of duct tape and you just pull this bag up as tight as possible, making the hole on top as small as possible, and then go all the way around it using that duct tape, closing it all up. 
And then you can also use the duct tape to plug up any holes that were made, whether it was from something being sharp in the bag or the bag being too heavy as you pulled it out, it just made a hole, you can plug those up as well. And then once the duct tape is applied to all these areas, this bag is very tight and there really isn't any way for bugs to get in there in order to breed. All right, so it's been about a week, so let's see what we've got inside of these trash cans now. Now, normally there would be flies all over even the outside of the trash can, basically just swarming, and I don't even see any of that. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this first one. This first one has the garbage guard on it, and as you can see, there are no flies on the trash anywhere. I don't have any maggots crawling on the trash bags or even on the walls of the trash can. And actually, if you look down inside of some of these bags in places, you're gonna see bugs that are actually dead, bugs that have actually gotten inside of here, and the vapor that's coming from the garbage guard killed them off. So these are pretty typical results as far as from what I've seen since I've started using the garbage guard. So it works really, really well. So let's go ahead and close this one up and move over to the one that we sprayed with the hot shot fly killer. And again, there's no flies on the outside. And then if we look down inside, if you remember, this is the one that had all the maggots crawling all around, had plenty of flies in it. And if we look down in here now, no flies, no maggots, and it's been almost a week later. So this also works really well. I personally have found that while both of these work really well the same, if you want something that's gonna be extremely, extremely low maintenance, the garbage guard one is probably gonna be your best bet because you can let it go for months. As far as the spray goes, I try to treat this like every three to four weeks. So a little bit more maintenance, but as you can see, really good results. So this will really help to cut down on the fly population around my house. So I removed the trash bags in order to take them to the dump. And as you can see, all those maggots are now dead and even some flies in the bottom. And then over here in the trash can with the garbage guard, look at all the flies just dead in the bottom of the trash can. So you can see how effective both of these methods are in ending the life cycle of a fly, therefore cutting down on the population in your garbage and around the house. So I have no doubt in my mind that if you use one of the methods or combine some of the methods that I showed you here today, that it's going to drastically cut down on the amount of flies in your trash. And therefore it should also drastically cut down on the amount of flies outside your house, then also getting into your house. Now, if you like DIY or repair type videos for around your home, like I did here today, of course, I've got a bunch of other videos on my channel that you can check out. But if you're more specifically looking for other bug or insect related videos, whether it's keeping them out of your house or treating for them, doing your own pest control, I'll post a couple of those right over here that you can click on showing you how I go about keeping them out of my house and then also treating for them. So I hope that you found this video to be helpful and interesting. And if you did, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down in the comment section. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.